Hello, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury channel, Paul Pluto channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell your fuckhead friends about my channel. And uh, don't forget, look in the description for 10 ways. 10 ways you can help me stay full time on YouTube. I depend on your support to keep me full time. Okay, fuckers, here we go. And this is a uh, an email that's come in from CP. Hi, Arch. Hi, Arch. Your channel is coming along really well. Good content lately. The internet is filled with unscrupulous haters. You seem to handle them well. Keep up the good work. I'm interested in buying an LV Louis Vuitton hard men's briefcase. I don't really know much about them other than what I have learned from you. I know there are tons of fake Louis Vuitton bags and cases on the internet retail sites which makes me nervous to make an internet purchase. On the other hand, I'm sure I would have to pay full retail if I went to the Louis Vuitton boutique. I know AC3 hates paying retail, as do I. As you have taught me, watches always should be bought pre-owned. Does the same go for LV hard case briefcases? What do you recommend buying? Buying new or pre-owned? Black leather or monogram, LV monogram case? By the way, I saw the LV briefcase you bought on the talk show. It looked great. $20 sent to you for the advice and the vid if you got time to make one. Thanks very much, your fan CP. Well, CP, well, CP, you've come to the right place. I am the guru, the guru, the expert on brief cases and uh, I gotta tell you honestly it's uh, firstly you gotta ask yourself what type of case do you want that's the first thing and uh, I uh, as you rightly pointed out there I'm just rearranging my furniture I do have that beautiful this is what they call a president classier and I've had it painted by Louis Vuitton. That's the stripes and my initials. Horatio Paul Pluta. And uh, this is a great case. So, look, what do I say about them? Yes, there are countless fakes. Now, for starters, let's, let's talk hard case briefcases. Hard case briefcases have actually gone out of fashion. Men have soft bags. Now, it's a conspiracy by the, the feminist movement because they don't believe men should be carrying porn around. Hence the reason, the man bag. So that the woman can look in there and have a look. But every man needs a safe haven to store unscrupulous stuff. Porn, uh, rubbers, anything extra like that there. So, as far as it goes, the briefcases themselves, the most... Uh, the one that's still available from the boutique is the Louis Vuitton. This is called a President Classier. Okay, that's what it's called. It's still made. It's expensive. In Australia, it's about six and a half thousand dollars for the monogram version. And it's about ten thousand for the leather version. So very, very expensive. The funny thing is, with Louis Vuitton themselves, whenever they release a new colour, which is a men's colour, they also make them, they always make a president in that new colour um, that comes out. So, um, for example, I had the beautiful Tiger Adios, which had the white hardware. That was a $10,000 briefcase. $10,000 briefcase. So, okay, let's have a talk about them. Okay, for starters, you know, these president class years, if you have it, if you type in, in your search engine or go on eBay, Louis Vuitton president, it'll come up. That's what they should be coming up as. To be honest with you, yes, it's true. Things like the Louis Vuitton Keeple, that's the big barrel bag. They're faked a lot, the Louis Vuitton Speedy, but I gotta be honest with you, the Louis Vuitton hard case briefcases, they don't tend to be faked as much. And they kind of stand out like a sore thumb because have a look at the you know the the brass wear on this piece here. 
see it's quite expensive to fake this so the fake presidents when there are a few i haven't seen that many they tend to have really butchered ugly locks so that's that's really the key to telling real from fake these are wonderful you can take them back to louis vuitton to get parts replaced like i've had the handle replaced it's quite reasonable about 150 200 bucks they will cut keys for you they're very very good so i highly recommend highly highly recommend the louis vuitton president now if you're a bit of a vintage connoisseur a vintage connoisseur let me show you this is a vintage briefcase this one here was out uh, this particular one here was sort of late, late, mid to late 90s. So this one here is a, um, this is what you call a, pre it's not a president, it's a diplomat. So it's actually one square inch smaller than the president. And I've got to tell you, in all honesty, I think this is the perfect size. Now I've got this one here in tiger green that's the men's leather tiger green so if you compare the two you can actually see it's actually an inch smaller in all areas now the thing is too the the diplomat does not have this nice protective strip on it so it's it's it's, it's the only thing that you know some people really do like that it's got a smaller lock and this particular one here I've actually had the interior. One fault with these these items, got lovely leather smell, is that the in the inside, they the interior lining of these pockets goes black and gooey. So I, I've had this redone by Louis Vuitton, and uh, that was about three hundred dollars, which I thought was actually quite reasonable. So. I got to tell you, I really, I really love the diplomat. And uh, look, a really good. You get a couple of. You look on eBay, Louis Vuitton diplomat, or just type in Louis Vuitton hard case, and they they use they'll come up that way. I really love them. I had a big collection, but I've kind of streamlined, and I've streamlined down to one diplomat. This is the diplomat which I've got in the tiger green, which I, I really love the green. And I've got one President Classier in monogram. So that's the two I've got. Now, now the diplomat itself has not been available for a number of years. So you would probably have to find that on the vintage market. Now, interestingly enough, there's a lot of Japanese sellers who in Japan, Louis Vuitton, that was the number one sales place for Louis Vuitton before China exploded. So these type of items being, you know, 10, 20 years old, there's a lot of them in Japan. So I, I would uh, highly recommend uh, taking a look. Now, what I can do is for an extra $10, $10 per inspection, you send me a link to the one you're looking at and I'll say, yes, I think it's real and whether I think it's a good buy or not. So I do offer that service fairly inexpensive 10 bucks per item i'll tell you yes or no so now to answer your question what do i recommend so i i would i would recommend in the hard cases themselves there i the president is the classic that is the big classic but i also recommend the diplomat i love the smaller diplomat it seems to be i'm going to be honest with you this is the kind of super cool briefcase I, I reckon that is the coolest one of the cooler items that louis vuitton has made there and it's kind of cool too it's no longer in production so it's a vintage piece you've got to be a true collector to find it and hunt it down the president classier is great i love that as a big bag to just um carry around and you know sometimes people like to keep them mint but I like to use my stuff. It's got scratches on it from when I've been on planes. And, you know, it, it, it's a very much a, a, it's a usable, it's a living piece. So you're asking me the question, what do I recommend? Well, that's, 
that's I, I recommend if you want if you want a hard case briefcase you buy either a diplomat which is the smaller one or the president uh, buying new or pre-owned well to give you an idea of price this diplomat here in the leather see the leather can normally be double the price of the monogram uh, so would I recommend buying new or pre-owned I think there's plenty of them on the pre-owned market they are considerably cheaper they may not be perfect if you want a new one and you're really really rich sure go into the store and pay retail but I, I reckon pre-owned they're a bargain now you're saying black or LV now that depends what you want the other thing is with the um, if you were going to buy a new one they've got the Damia the Damia pattern that's the grey checkered pattern that is superb absolutely stunning so when you're asking me what do I recommend black leather or, or mono well I, I, I the black ones uh, they have black epi they have the adios which was a, a grey black I love the green and they also did this in a burgundy they did it in a burgundy so when you're asking me what color well they, they make them in every color that's Louis Vuitton has released so it's what do you like okay what do you like and what's available on the second hand market okay um, I think okay how much do you pay for them well you these are a relative bargain in my opinion for this case here I bought this a number of years ago but the prices haven't really gone up you can buy poor ones for, for around a thousand 1500 1600 seems to be about for, for, for a semi you know a really nice one the interior can still be fucked in them the Japanese for some reason they won't send it into Louis Vuitton to get repaired but it's no problem they, they will fucking do it for you so you've got to be prepared to spend three hundred dollars on the interior uh, anyhow but fifteen hundred two thousand really gets you a minty sort of one if I was to sell this here I'd want two grand. I don't really want to sell it. I always wanted a green diplomat. It was my dream case in the 90s. I really wanted one of these. I thought, I remember going into the store in 97 and uh, the price of it, this green one was 4,400, which is like about 10,000 today. And go, oh, that's expensive. So um, they were never <laughs> they were never cheap, that's for sure. The the president there seems to be because they they've been made since the late fifties. There's a there's a there's more of these available. Monogram or what color? Well, it depends what is available. What's you know what color do you really want? And uh, you got to look around for it. Don't just grab the first one that comes up. Look for. A, I think you're much better to get the best example you can. Now this one here, I've actually used it for the last, I've used this one here for the last uh, eight or nine years and I've just worn, used it, I don't abuse it but I've, I, I use it. And uh, I was actually attacked in Melbourne at one stage and the guy goes to me, give me your briefcase. And all I did was I just, I just threw it into his mouth. It took, it took a tooth out, and it took me about three months before that that tooth, I could dig it out with a pair of uh, a little screwdriver. So I took his front tooth out. So uh, it, you know I think it adds character to the piece when you you have a few stories battle scarred. You know what I mean? It's, it's something that I use. So uh, they're a really cool thing, and uh, obviously there's also the suitcases. See, I've got the the suitcase. This is in the studio as a little table. That's monogram. That's with that's, that's monogram Biston. This is a travel suitcase, hard suitcase, which matches my um, president briefcase. So uh, look, I think they are an absolute bargain. Get the best one. You're much better off to spend 2000 on a Minter instead of buying a rough one for 900 and then getting Louis Vuitton to fix certain things. You're much better off to get the best you can and then fix it if necessary. The President has a unique key, whereas the Diplomat, that's actually a standard key they use for 
many uh, type of bags and, and accessories. So it's, it's not a personalized key. Um, I, I, I think they're great buying. I, I really do love them. I, I think if, if you know, the, these are absolute bargains, absolute bargains. They come, they're not in fashion now. I mean, the square rectangular briefcase is out of fashion. They're not in fashion, but because it's a Louis Vuitton, does it, is it ever out of fashion? It's French chic, French chic. And I love, I love that handle. And if you look really closely, you'll see that this handle here is slightly bigger than this one. It's, it's the proportions are slightly ever, they keep it in, in, in proportion to the case. So uh, I, I think they are absolutely fantastic. I love them. I, um, I, I think they are a cool thing to have there. A lot of the younger viewers are really not into these type of briefcases as such they want a man bag and you know it's fashions have changed but um i think if you want one they are a bargain they are a bargain uh i i had five presidents five presidents different colors and two diplomats i had the burgundy one and i had a the green one i've still got the green one and i had five <laughs> presidents and i sold them off because it was just crazy. It was just crazy. You know, I mean, I mean, I, I went through a gluttonous period there, but I mean, you don't have to buy five. You don't have to have seven of the bastards like I did, but I, I think they are really cool buying. I think they are excellent buying. I think they are really nice things to own. Um, so that's, that's my opinion on it. I think, I think they're really cool. They're really cool things to have. They're, they're a really nice thing. And um, now they're kind of timeless. They're a timeless thing. But personally, I'd, I'd buy it used. I, 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 um, I think the new prices, they're fucking expensive unless you're really, really rich. I'd, I'd, I'd be buying it used because they're, they're actually, you can get nice ones, you know, nice ones for less than a third of retail which is big saving big saving so there you go that's the uh the the men's briefcases there believe it or not they don't fake them the, the fake ones stand out like a sore thumb because of that that brassware see that that brassware itself is so hard to to fake to copy that it's it's hardly worth doing so the fakes they're not a big thing with the briefcases they're not as a huge problem as they are with the keeple or the the speedy bag so uh very good buy i'm paul pluto this is the archie luxury channel and the paul pluto channel tell me what you miserable fuckers think of that we specialize here in pre-owned rolex watches rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.